Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. You're on the Alon Paul channel. I want to thank you all for being here today for the Weekend Anomaly Mission. Uh, this is a kind of a Friday standby for me. We do this all the time in order to get a nice recording done of the Weekend Anomaly Mission. So uh, stop by every Friday. You should see this. Uh, very few Fridays go by where I don't do one of these. Uh, I want to start by thanking everybody for your patronage to this channel. Thank you very much for being a subscriber since those of you since the very beginning and those of you who are new to the channel. We thank you equally just as much and thank you very much for being here. So here we are. We are in my system here, which we are going to highlight on Saturday night at 5 p.m. So let's head over to the anomaly and check out what the mission is. Yes, we're going to have a live stream Friday night. 5 p.m. Eastern Time uh, till about probably 8 p.m. or so. We're just going to be there for a few hours. And we're going to be in multiplayer mode. And anybody will be allowed to join me. Um, you can set up a base on the planet. We can do kind of a community planet. There are, just so you're aware of it, let me just take a look at the discoveries here. Here's the system I'm in. There's a Zehansis. Zehansis? Zahan I can't get it right. Zehansis system. Uh, as you can see, I discovered this three years ago. I never had a chance to rename it at the time. It's been a while, so uh, never had a chance to do so. But this system is very unique. The planet that I'm usually on is Lemley, as I call it. It's a paradise planet, as you can see, which is really great, right? Well, it's very unusual to have a paradise planet or a second paradise planet in a system. Euro is over here as well. Slightly different colored planet. It also has water on it, just like Lemley, Lemley does. Well, guess what? We have a third paradise planet in the system called Renton. It has no water on it. It's a red world, but it's just one of those systems that has three paradise paradise planets, and anybody can join me here. It is in the, not the Euclid galaxy, but in the Eisenton galaxy. Now, we have two other systems here. We have a swamp planet over here, high sentinel activity, and, of course, we have a tectonic planet finally over here, which has basalt deposits, which is very nice, or basalt, as the case may be. So we'll be highlighting that tomorrow night. Let's get on to the... We're in the anomaly. Let's get over to the Nexus here and see what our mission is for the, for the weekend. You know there's a weekend mission when you see that blue icon floating up above... That's how you can tell. There's always the green one at the top. Restless Ancestors Unearth Ancient Bones. We're going to go bone hunting again today. This one's going to be for a Warp Hyper Core, 1800 Quicksilver. As you can see. Oh, looks like the second one is the Warp Hyper Core instead of giving us... Oh, it's going to give us also 406,000 units besides the 1800 Quicksilver. So I'm going to go ahead and start my mission. Now let's get a move on, shall we? Here we go. So all we have to do is start that mission. You see it's come up telling us that it's started, of course. Jump in your ship and exit the anomaly. And it will automatically throw you through hyperspace and into a system of, your, of its choice. I am using new software for this, so hopefully the audio is coming through okay, which it seems like it is. Game audio, I turned down a little bit, so hopefully it's not too loud. Having a little trouble with the video, but we're working on that. All right, here we are. It should direct us in just a second. Watch the corners of your screen. If you move around a little bit, you'll see where it's directing you. There you go. It was down there. All right, and there's the planet we're heading to, a bone-rich planet. Ah, this is going to be difficult. Notice that the description of the planet, ancient bones, of course, frost crystals, and we know it's a cold planet, copper dioxide, sodium, aggressive sentinels. So we're going to have a little bit of fun going after these bones while the sentinels come after us. So I hope you have a weapon handy, because this planet's going to be a little difficult to do this anomaly mission on. Now, you don't have to go specifically to that spot as long as you get into the target planet, as it says there, target planet reached. You should be able to land anywhere you want. Now, scanning the planet from up above is not going to help you much. What I would suggest is if you can find yourself a landing pad, someplace that automatically has a landing pad, so you have to at least use some launch juice, that would be best. I'm having a little bit of graphic issues, and I don't know why, but we'll figure that out later. 
I've had some thoughts on what I could do to fix that, and one of them is actually deleting and reinstalling the game, just in case it's just ha simply having issues. So I'm going to continue to scan. The system does have a space station in it. It is not abandoned as far as I know. So we should be able to find some place to park our ship. Now, I may just give up and go and just park anyway, but no. Oh, hmm. Looks like I found ourselves an archive. All right. Landing pads look like they're on the other side. I'm not going to take one of the top ones. We're going to take a lower pad. All right. And get it to show up. There we go. A lot of graphical pauses and stuff. I'm going to have to look into that. And there we go. Okay. So what we're going to do... Is I'm going to switch over to one of my main multi-tools. Uh, where are you here? Polygon. Yes, that's the one I think, right? I think it is. Let me check it. Yeah, this is the baby. All right. This one has supercharged technology slots all the way at the top here, all four of them. Still looking for a better one, but while the pulse spitter does a good job, the uh, bolt caster does better, actually, in my, in my opinion. So we're going to move this out, and I'm going to set myself up for the pulse spitter. There we go. I don't know if it's set up in the right arrangement, but we'll find out here. Now, well, I'm already activated the drones, huh? Now, if you head up to the space station, it should lose interest in you temporarily. Just head behind this force field over here. And you're, you're also safe from the weather here, too. So, this will give us an opportunity. Now, 24,900, I think, is the peak I can do on this. I'm not sure. I am going to... This one doesn't affect the... Uh, as you can see, it... Oh, it does highlight. Okay, so it does. I'm going to just move some of this stuff down real quick. So I can make a little more room. Okay, so 25,789. Let me just see if this changes any. Hmm. 797... Nope, drops it. 822. Alright, let's just leave it there for now. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's more than enough damage. Alright, and we are all set. We got 18,000 uh, ammunition to go by. So we're going to use our scanner. It's going to direct us towards a natural burial site. Let's head over there. And again, we're going to be hard-pressed to stay away from Sentinels the entire time. So let's have fun with this. We need 12 ancient bones. Got some big animals here, too. Oh, we got diplos, too. Look at that. Now, most of this is going to be done on foot. I'm not going to take my ship place to place. There's no use in doing so. I'll pull my ship in in the, in the end. Hopefully, you have a pretty good jetpack that'll get you places. So, I avoided one sentinel already. We're going to have another one pop up here in a minute. I know we are. Ray manipulator. It looks like we got at least two bones here. Use it on its widest settings. We got a rare item, 2,700 years old. We'll take a look at it later. Another rare one at 721. Okay, take another look. Looks like we got one right there. Just keep going. Now, if you do get into a fight... That's perfectly fine. We're probably going to get into one on purpose. I don't know why I grabbed that oxygen. It's not like I have tons of it in my inventory already. The dense vegetation area, too, so be careful. Ah, gravitino balls, see? That's what they're after. You pick one of those up, you're going to attract the attention of a lot of sentinels. All right, on our way. Ah, oh, see, we've already got another sentinel popping up. Try not to use all your uh, jet juice if you can avoid it. Looks like we got four bones here. This is good. 
Three, they're plain ones. Sometimes it's hard to get past what the old bones were sitting on. There we go. Ah, and then we've got blizzards too. Okay. We can't find one local to us, so we're just going to get out of here and start heading in a general direction. Uh, usually you want to stick to ley lines, so pick a north-south direction from the place that you just found and head in that direction. That will be on a ley line, so to speak, so if you're going to find anything else, it's going to be hopefully right in front of you. Unfortunately, I've got pretty good weather protection, so we don't have to worry about too much. Nothing yet? Okay. Keep going. It says to head to the left that everything's too weak, but don't necessarily pay attention to that. Well, we got another sentinel popping in. See, there he is. He's got to stay next to you for a few extra moments and be able to get a good scan in before he gets annoyed. Let me get past these trees. Whoa, okay. Go to open field. Ah. See? He got a good one on me. I am going to go ahead and head this way, because it's telling me to. We'll ignore the sentinels for now. A lot of people sell... I shouldn't say a lot of people. There's a good amount of people out there that do get nervous fight facing sentinels. But just keep running. Keep moving. See, the timer started at the top right. They're going to leave you alone as long as you keep out of their reach. Just check through your scanner every now and then. So we have, what, six bones so far. We need six more. Oh, another sentinel just popped up. Look at that. Isn't that funny? They are definitely aggressive around here. And if you're in the middle of a fight, you cannot call in your ship. Keep that in mind. All right. This is going to be one of those strange situations where I think I am going to call in my ship. Whoops, I just slipped into a hole. And we are going to head to another portion of the planet. Not because of the Sentinels, but because we're literally not finding anything. <clears throat> so, let's head away, a little ways away. Let's get a few thousand kilometers underneath us. I've never had one of those comets or meteors or whatever those things are hit me. While in my ship. Someone brought it up the other day on one of the other channels I was watching. I don't have any clue what would happen if you... If you uh, got hit by one. Still too weak. As long as you can get out of your ship and get out of there before they find you. I'm going to go up here to the top of the hill. And then stop. Like I said, I've got plenty. Uh, there's a bear spot right here. We'll stop here. Looks like we found something. Let's get away from the sentinel real quick, and we'll take another look. And we've selected it, and we're heading that direction. So again, we need six more. We could take an exocraft. We could take one of our pets to do all this. But we're not going to do either. We're just going to go ahead and foot our way over there. My jetpack tends to recharge pretty quick, so I'm not too concerned about it. And... My feet go a little further than most. Looks like we've only got the one. Okay. And nothing else. Okay. We'll head in this direction for just a couple moments, and if we don't find anything, 
on the scanner, then we're going to head on our merry little way. That next hill, that ought to be enough. Resource was what? The oxide, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Gather resources if you want. That's completely up to you. If, especially if you need dioxide. Sometimes that's a hard element to find on some planets, but it's always going to, it's almost always going to be on a cold planet. Hmm. Again, we're not finding anything. We may have to take our ship and go elsewhere. I've been on planets where they were plentiful and you found them all over the place. You know what? I'm getting kind of tired of these guys. Let's uh let's teach him a lesson, shall we? See, if you can get all five waves taken care of, you don't have to worry about them anymore. And if you're in a multiplayer type situation, you can have you can gang up on these guys. Where'd you go? Wow, he's already called in two extra units that quickly. Let's have a little fun, shall we? Want to mess with me? Then that's fine. I eat sentinels for breakfast. They're high in vitamins, let's be honest. There you are. Goodbye. There we go. Who's next? Anybody else? You get all the barrels around here? What do you know? There we go. Now that thins the field a little bit. We have one more level to go. We'll clean up the landscape a little bit. Got me stuck in a hole, that's what happened there. I take a moment. There we go. There we go. And look at the top right corner. Okay, that should take care of that. 
So now we don't have to worry about those idiots bothering me anymore. Okay, is that everybody? Did I get any, uh... Let's just make sure I didn't, uh, miss... Be miss, uh, miss. Leave, leave behind any of the... Nope, that's just damage machinery. Combat supplies. Yep, I think we got everything. Okay. We're done. Let's go to this natural burial site, and we're just gonna take our easy time now. So, if you like to take out sentinels on a regular basis, feel free to do so. And that way you just get free reign to the planet. You don't have to worry about them uh, bugging you anymore. Now, if you save and reload, or I should say, if you leave the game right now and come back, they will respawn. It's also on a timer, from what I understand. I've never reached the end of that timer, so I don't know how long it is. But I want to say it's just a couple of hours, but it's more than enough time for you to complete this particular mission. Alright, so we need how many? We need five more. Hopefully the site has more than one. Let's see what we got. Looks like so far only the one. Yep, nothing more here. And too weak to find anything else. So we need four more now. So let's head out. Get free of the area there. Let's say we call in our ship one more time. And I describe these as being like raptors. I don't know what anybody else calls them, but that's just me. Let's head over this way. Uh, let's see, there's a good little pit to drop my ship in. Oh, we got some water there. That's interesting. Alright, we got something over this way. Alright, from what I can see, there might be a few of them over there, so this might be it. Let's go ahead and head over. Didn't expect this particular one to last so long. Interesting looking guy, too. He's got some vestigial uh, wings on his back as well. At least that's what it looks like. Very interesting creature. I like the face. Very interesting. Well, you know they're here. So if you haven't gotten yourself a decent pet, or at least a Diplo-style pet, dinosaur-style, if you will, now you know where you can find them. Hi, guys. Pardon me, just coming through. Oop, bounced off a tree there. All right. We're also going to have a live stream on Monday. Monday morning we're going to do a live stream too. I have a desire to do the new challenge that Beeblebum has invented. Oh, looks like we got three of them here. Wish we had four. That's okay. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice rare one. 21, 2,193 years old. Very nice. Those are the really, those ones are really, really worth it. And it looks like we've got one nearby. Excellent. All right, so this will complete it out. So that stream is regarding the branded challenge that People Bum has come out with. The stranded challenge involves you being stranded on a planet, no starter ship again, as usual. The difference is that you have to build yourself a... You have to find yourself a portal. And you do not have the knowledge, if you will, the technical ability to repair your ship. So you have to find a ship. If the portal is very far away, you must find a ship to get there. 
If the portal's close by and you can get there on foot, well, you got lucky. But if it's far away, you have to find a ship. And in finding a ship, you can't actually fly a ship without buying it. So it's got to be completely unrepaired. Um, undamaged, I think is the right word. My apologies. You have to find an undamaged ship that you can purchase. But you can't fly it unless you find a crashed ship similar to it. So in other words, if it's a fighter that you purchase, you have to find a crashed fighter to gain a pilot's license for that particular style of ship. Very interesting type of scenario. I do like the rules. We'll post those rules on the chat. In the chat, possibly in the description. Most likely, we would be better off in the description of the video as well. Alright, so we have all the bones. To just give you an eye of what we got here, that's our ship. Here we go, exosuit. Here we go. See, we got some regular bones, which are worth anywhere between, you know, sometimes 70,000 to 120 or so, right? But you have these rare ones that can be run 1.2 million, as you see here. 1.5 million. I've never seen one at 1.5. And then this one, which is a, which is partially not so much rare as the other one, but it's still a high value unit. This is from taking on our Sentinels, so I'm just going to put these aside for now. I'll probably save them for later. All right, so what do we do? We get in our ship. Go ahead and take off and get ready to go. But you're going to want to scan. You see it's at the bottom right. Deliver ancient bones to local osteolo osteologist. Uh, perform a scan to locate Polo's contact. Uh-oh. Sentinel's alerted. I don't think they can come after me. Well, I'll tell you what. We have this Sentinel Pillar close by, so let's have a little fun, shall we? There shouldn't be anything here. Okay, Sentinels are all be gone. You'll see there's actually one of the uh, barrels is laying nearby from where one of the Sentinels dropped out right over there, right? There we go. You can take these nodes out if you like. That'll give you extra um, nanites as well as some salvage glass in some cases. Got some pugnium out of them as well. So that's pretty good. No complaints. You can take a look around. You look for like a little gearbox like that one, and that's combat supplies. And you can see that it just happens to be there. There we go. We got some more salvage glass. Looks like we got a building over there if we want to take a look at it. Let's take a quick look around. There may be one more. I don't see it. Wait. Combat supplies. There they are. Yep, now I can see it. Okay. We got nanites out of that one. No big deal. And some projectile ammunition. Uh, we're looking for the computer. There it is. And these computers, in case you weren't aware, when you get there, will give you a story. You can access those LODs and go through the storyline. I've already gone through every single one of them, so you would have to... I'm only going to get the last line every single time. That's not going to help you. But you also have the opportunity to get a pur to purchase a weapon. Look at that. An A-class royal weapon. Look at that. Isn't that special? They always come a little damaged. you got to be careful of that. This one has already two supercharged slots on it. So that's really nice. you already got a combat scope. And a bolt caster mining beam, of course. Um, I'm actually thinking about grabbing that. I don't know if I can just take it. Yes, I can. Good. I'm going to go ahead and take it. Because that is awesome. So what we're going to do here, because I'm sure some of you are looking at that. It's a very pretty blue one. Uh, let's go ahead and log off. All right. So see, that's what it looks like. Let's take a picture of it, shall we? And we'll take a good look at it. This is what it looks like. It's a nice blue multi-tool. Nice royal one. That is really pretty. That's a nice looking one. I like that a lot. Very, very nice. So what do you know? This turned into a little bit of a more interesting video than usual. All right, so that is the new multi-tool. Not that I'm going to use that, but I'm going to add that to my list. Maybe I'll do a little work with that one later on. But for now, I'm going to pull up Polygon Blaster and just use this one because it's way more powerful. All right, so this is done. I'm going to go ahead and put a save beacon down. Um, I need two metal plates to do that. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. So that you can find this if you wish. Uh, why don't we change the color, shall we? Let's go with this one, and I'm going to go with uh, 
See, I like the purple and the yellow. Let's go purple, yellow. There we go. And there we go. So this is the save beacon. You'll find it. And if you're wondering where we're located at on the planet, we'll go into the tab, not the tab menu, the F menu here. You look at the top right, and there's our current location. Negative 46.5, positive 167.8. So this is where this particular one is. So this is actually really handy to know that this particular um, uh, sentinel pillar is here. Because if you come to this planet to do this, you can go straight to the pillar. You can go straight into this terminal and dis deactivate all the sentinels. So isn't that wonderful? So look for the save beacon here, okay, folks? Look for the save beacon and you can do that, okay? Um, what I might just do... If I put a base computer down here... Why don't we do that? Put one right next to it. And we're going to name it. So nobody's on the site. We're going to claim the base. You don't have to do any digging here. You'll still be able to take out Sentinels if you wish. But this gives you the opportunity to find it a little bit easier. So you can look for a base on the planet. And I am going to name this base just simply Sentinel Pillar. There we go. And there you go. Name it Sentinel Pillar. Now, we can't really upload the base. In order to do so, it has to be a big enough base. So we're going to do something uh, not so special over here. We're just going to go ahead and put down some planks. It's got to be at least 15 or 20 of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and put down these here right now. Let's see if that's big enough to upload. Upload base. There we go. So the base has been uploaded to the servers. You should be able to find it now. So look for Sentinel Pillar. You can land here and then go search to your heart's content without being bothered by Sentinels. Isn't that nice? All right, back to the ship. Um, classic line, as always. Anyone seen the ship? There it is. Okay. All right, so we're going to take off again. We're going to do one more scan. Okay. Oh, this way. And he's pretty close by, usually. Yeah, 20 seconds away. No use to go out in space and pulse drive over to him. It'll take very, very little time. If you want to, you can adjust your ship to put more power to the engines, and you get there a little bit quicker. And you can even hit some trees on the way, almost like I did there. Oh, I've got a crashed freighter nearby. Isn't that interesting? Okay. And we'll land here, we just got to talk to the contact. Now those bones you gathered, he's not going to take them, he just needs to scan them and then you're done. He's right there, a little... our Gek. The Gek asks no questions, but simply holds out a hand expectantly. I get the sense of animi... pardon me. <clears throat> that's an interesting word to use. You want to say anonymous, but that's not correct. Anonymized. Anonymized. Interesting. Anonymized donation from Specialist Polo must be behind their willingness to assist. Fascinating. All right, so we're going to show samples. We're going to show them the cracked bone fragments. So it's the cheap ones, and that's fine. Uh, Prospector uh, Zeliesk runs their eagle hands over a number of the samples before selecting one to scan, reluctantly returning the bones. They transmit the scan, directly, scan, the scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. And there we go. Mission complete. So you can do things here. You can gather machinery and pick up the uh, buried technology that sits behind them if you wish. But for me, I don't need any of that. I'm going to go ahead and move on. So we're going to return to the space anomaly. Hopefully that little base I planted will be handy to you. Okay. Out in the space, we're going to pull in the anomaly. Off we go. This is probably the longest anomaly mission I've ever done. <laughs> we're going on about 35 minutes now. Go figure, right? Alrighty. And then we'll go ahead and check the Quicksilver vendor real quick as well. So remember, tomorrow night, Saturday night, the 13th of January at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the 1,000 subscriber celebration in my own system multiplayer we're going to even have discord on for people who want to jump in and chat with me and everything like that um i'm in the wrong spot 
There we go. Nexus. So there we go. Complete the mission. You get your 1800 Quicksilver. There it is. And you get... Credits. And a pat on the back, basically. And you still have the bones that you can sell, and you got a few million of them, so that's pretty good. The items from Quicksilver, looks like we've already got everything. They haven't given us any new things to do. That means just keep your eyes open, because something is coming soon. The ice statues are all here, so if you haven't gotten the last one or two, that should get you what you need. So again, tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on the 13th of January... Um, is when our subscriber 1000 subscriber celebration will be again the discord channel will be open check my channel uh, in the description area in the about me area and you'll see a, a, a link to my discord channel as well as my Instagram uh, and any other and those are the only two social socials that I'm using right now for this channel uh, you can feel free to subscribe if you wish if you like what you've seen here please hit the like button it always helps the analytics of course and we really appreciate all your patronage and we'll have another live stream on Monday morning probably 8 a.m. or so 8 30 a.m. not exactly sure what time I'm gonna start yet I haven't decided it depends upon what Monday morning turns out to be like uh, but what looking forward to doing a live stream then we're gonna do the um, challenge that I spoke of from Beeble Bum, the stranded challenge uh, we're going to be doing that all morning long, and uh, feel free to drop in and say hi. All right, folks, well, it's great to see you all. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you again in the future. Next video, take care, everybody.